Okay, guys, today we're gonna talk about um, dimmers, okay? Um, so, particularly, I have this is the smart dual dimmer switch. So, this is uh, what it looks like, and then this one is the is the most um, smart dimmer switch. So, you can see it here, right? Um, the smart tool is a little bit um, thinner, okay? But I'll show you how you can test this. So, we'll be testing this with a um, COB LED light. Um, so, I actually have a 20 meter one, okay, here. Um, and then um, we'll be connecting it here. And this one goes directly to a outlet, okay? So we'll just be plugging this in. This is live right now, no? So I'll, um, I'll show you how we're gonna do this, right? Um, you basically need to power the, the switch, right? So, so one of them, you basically need to place that in the neutral. It doesn't matter which one, right? As long as they're the same line or the same color so you place that in okay so you can see here it's in the it's in the neutral okay and then um, the line that goes directly to the source okay this is the power you place this under the L or the load okay so, stick that in. And then the line towards the LED light, okay? You stick it in here. Under L1, okay? So, just to just so you guys can see. Alright, so that's how we, st we stuck it. Alright. So, basically, we're just going to plug this in. All right. Um, at this point, I'm going to show my cell phone. Okay. So I already have it set up now. So you can see here um, that the smart rule already um, connected. Okay. So here in the smart rule, uh, you you can turn it on. Once it's on, so you can see here um, I have the cob lights on. It's pretty bright. Um, let's reduce this to forty percent. So I hope that comes out. Let's reduce it to 18%. Okay. And then this is part of it. So you can see. Okay. So let's go from 18. Okay. And then let let me show you the uh, when it turns off. So let's turn it off. Okay. Let's turn it back on. So one thing I'm not so sure if you can see um, the smart tool. It sort of flickers. See, let's turn it back on. So you can see it goes up. It slowly goes up. Yeah. And then let's turn it back on. So it sort of flickers when we run off, when we set this up. Um, and then there's only one feature here wherein you can set a scheduler, right? So you can set the time that it's going to turn on or off. Okay, so um, the smart tool is pretty um, simple. So on, and then when it's on, this is actually red. So I, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Um, so here you can tap it; it goes down by about two increments every time you press it. For it to go down. Okay, it kind of auto presses the longer you press. No? So let's set that to 50. Okay, and then let's turn it off. So basically, um, if you can see the, the, the light here, this is blue, blue, blue. When it's on, this becomes red. Uh, when it's off, this becomes blue. Okay, so let's, um, let's power this off. Okay, let me show you what happens when we plug it back in. Okay. So 
So one. This this one when it's in pairing mode it actually becomes like a green. So I'm not gonna show you how to pair this anymore, no. So there. It's connected again. Okay. So basically the if, if there's a the, the, what I'm trying to show you right now is when there's a brownout, um its standard state is that it's going to be off. Okay, so even if this is on right now. Okay. So right now it's on. If this gets unplugged, okay, and then it replugs, it takes a while for it to reconnect. You can see that it turns like a greenish blue. Once that stabilizes into blue, um, it basically means that it's connected back. So just a couple of seconds, like uh, maybe like five, ten seconds, okay. So let me unplug this. All right, here we've got our mouse, okay? So basically the the neutral will connect here and then the load from the power uh, will be connected here and then this is towards the light, okay? So let's do the let's do the neutral first. So let's find out. This is the outlet. So let's connect the outlet first. So this connects right here. So you gotta make sure that it it goes below. You see that screw? I'm so sure if you see the screw. You gotta make sure it goes below the screw, no? So it's uh really stuck in there all right okay so let's plug this in okay so immediately um the design's a little different so it's blue if it's off uh sorry it's on right now no? so it's on right now um it's blue okay and then if it's off there's no light there's no light whatsoever okay and when you turn it on it's blue so let's open the application it's already connected and immediately you'll see here that okay um this one's a little bit different no so this range, I'm not so sure what this does because right now I'm using a calm light. Um, you have the options for LED, incandescence, and halogen. Okay, and then this one is the is the brightness level. Okay, every time we hit this, it doesn't immediately go lower. This is the one of the main differences now. So you got a one, two. You gotta hold it a bit longer. See? Yeah, see? Let's make it go back all the way up to 100%. So one of the main differences here in the, the most is when this turns off, it's smoother when it turns off. I'm not too sure if you can see it, but um, trust me. Um, it's much, much smoother when it turns off and on. It's uh, the, the way that it turns on and off is very subtle. Okay, so let's keep that on. Uh, I'm gonna move this brightness down a little bit more and off. Um, and you can see here um, that there's like a lot more features. So if it has a countdown, right? So you can set it, okay, after one minute, it's going to turn off, okay? Um, there's also a scheduler. So this is the only feature that the smart tool had. Okay. Um, and then, so let's, let's, let's show that to you guys really quickly. So uh, you can, you can set it on specific days. Okay. Um, let's cancel that. And then here you can set. So I don't know if you can see that. No, um, let's, let's turn this off. So you can set that the backlight turns on and off, okay? But the backlight, honestly, it's not that strong. 
it's it's very very weak actually you'll probably only see this in a dark room okay now you have this option okay um we'll go through this because i really don't understand what this means now so let's let's do electric shot okay so what we're what we're gonna do is i'm gonna turn this i'm gonna unplug this okay so let's plug it back so you can see it's blinking all right So when it's electric shot, um, that means that it's going to be off in case there's brownout, okay? Let's try it with will open the. <laughs> okay, let's let's turn it back on. Okay, and then let's unplug it. And then let's plug it back in. Okay. So it seems that um, when, when, when it's in this mode, it remembers the last state. Let's let's try if it's off. Okay, let's unplug it again, and then replug it. Okay, so even if it was off, it will turn back on. Okay, power off memory. Let's try this. So right now it's it's um, it's on. Let's unplug it. Okay, and then let's replug it. Okay. So I think this one it hopefully what 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 I hope happens here it remembers. Okay, let's unplug it, and then let's replug it. Okay, so basically this one electric shot will mean that um, it will if it go gets brown out it will always be off after you no know? will open means that if it's brown out even if it's off and then it becomes brown out it will open and then this one will just remember the state. Let's turn the back light back on. So you can see here immediately um, that you know um, let's turn this off. You can immediately see that you know um, dimmers aren't made all equal. So um, immediately, let's let's run through the differences. No, so let's start with price. Okay, so um, this one, the smart tool, I got it for about eight hundred bucks, eight hundred peso. Okay, um, and then this mouse, I actually got it for seven hundred sixty-five pesos. So this was actually cheaper. No, um, the only difference that I, I I would say like definitely I'll go with the most because number one is it has more features. Um, the dimmer, um, it's more smooth when it when it turns on and off. Okay, so that's very important for me, right? Because this will be installed in the cove lighting in our house. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm building a house right now. This will this will wrap around the cove inside. Uh, my house right so this is a 20 meter one um, and then the other one is there's just more features right um, uh, the other one it didn't have the countdown switch this one has a scheduler um, and then this one it doesn't matter the this one doesn't rem remember the power off state here I can you know, I can even turn off the backlights now with respect to the backlight I actually prefer this more um, because uh, this one actually it lights up if it's off this one if it's off there's no LED light no um, and at the same time this one only lights up if you're pressing it if it's in the on state no? this this thing right here this uh, Wi-Fi thing it does nothing I, I really wish that they would just remove that I also prefer the design of the smart tool um, this plus I would just prefer it to be more simple right but it's it's mine very minor um, this plate is a little bit larger by about a millimeter um, and then their heights are exactly the same no? um, like I mentioned uh, the most is much thicker I'm assuming the 
Well, I, I, I'm not gonna pop this open, no? Um, so, um, that's about it. So, please remember that, you know, all dimmers aren't all created equal. And once again, you know, Baby Yoda would love it if you guys would like and subscribe, no? So, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for this. 